All right, welcome. So this is kind of a walkthrough of me showing you how to, I guess, open up the GMK tech that I used and purchased for running this Lutus Cyber Ranges, the easiest way to deploy dev test infrastructure. So how I found out about this product was going to this Lutus Discord channel and in there, I went to the hardware channel. Then at the very top, he talks about what he was using and how he has like 96 gigs of RAM. And I actually, uh, through a recommendation, only got two one terabyte NVMEs. And uh, I have them in a RAID zero. And just to show how much potential this has, uh, this screen, it's hard to tell, but right here is 52 VMs, all here that the cyber range went ahead and deployed. So again, 52 with 80% of the memory uh, and 13% of the CPU and 6% of the storage being utilized. So a pretty cool product to see. So here, let's go ahead and just go right into looking at this. So. I'll keep this up so that you can see kind of the configurations and such. But anyways, so here it is. Uh, it's got two uh, NICs. It, I think they're 2.5. It's got an HDMI. It's got a display port. It's got a USB 3.0 fan space there. It's got a power fan area here, power button, headset deal. Uh, type C connection and then USB three again, and then a fan. So that's kind of what it is. What you'll do is you'll open this top piece by prying at this with your hand, and then this will just pop off. And they were just held in by little clips. Like that. So now that that piece is off, great. Uh, what else is going on here? So. We have a fan in the middle and we have screws all four corners. I believe it comes with a screwdriver. So you just got to unscrew. I've already done that. So da -da -da, small screws and you got to kind of again, pry the corners and get it to open. Yep, and you gotta be careful because there is a cable for the fan. However, this will open everything up so that you can see the RAM. So there is the red line RAM. And it's just a little clippy deals here and here that go ahead and hold them in. So there it is popped out. And you really just press it in and it pops and clips in. So I've got two of them there. And then I've got the NVMEs right here. I did buy what you can see is uh, some kind of protection heat sink for them. Uh, if I go at an angle here, you'll see the blue that is uh, some uh, adhesive kind of uh, barrier to help uh, cool it. Uh, and that is recommended to use with the heat sink. So there's also these like rubber band deals that you put on the NVMEs. Uh, and then once that's done, really, uh, there's these screws. You just unscrew those, this kind of pops up and then you can move it out, move them out uh, to get them out, but push them in, push them in to get them in to this area. So yeah, that's really all there is to installing SSD and or RAM. The other part is probably trying to figure out how this clips back on. Great. So that's back. So I won't put you through how to install that whole deal, um, but just know that it's pretty easy. Great product, get the RAM, 96 gigabytes, Redline. Get the NVMe 
uh, T500 Pro, uh, 7300 uh, megabytes or something like that uh, per second. And I got a one terabyte from Cruci Crucible. All right, well, I hope that helps somebody. Go ahead and install your RAM and your SSD. So with that, I will stop the video.